Welcome back to TeacherCast live from the Microsoft booth. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and I am sitting here with Sandy. Sandy, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic. We are having a great time. 25,000 educators here at ISTE, all to learn how to help out their students. Is this your first time at ISTE? It's not. It's my fifth ISTE. Wow, fifth ISTE. Is this your first time to Philadelphia? This is the very first time I've been What do you think of Philadelphia? Um, I love the history of Philadelphia, but I've stayed lost probably... 80% 80% of the time. <laughs> I will give you a hint. Right across the street is something called the Reading Terminal Market. Awesome. I awesome ice cream. I to have lunch there yesterday, but there were many, many people there. Nice. I'm on. So today we're talking all about Office Mix. Yes. What is Office Mix? Um, Office Mix is this fantastic add-in for a product that we know and love. Everyone knows how to use PowerPoint. And I was one of those early PowerPoint girls that loved the whoosh and the claps and the typewriter sounds, right? So it was awesome. Um, and what Microsoft has done is they've taken a product that we know and love and they've added in some really great features that um, allow us to access our PowerPoints online. We can record ourselves, add quizzes, and there are analytics associated with it. So talk to us a little bit about Office Mix and how you're using it in your school. All right, um, Office Mix, first you have to understand that you need to install the add-in. You'll go to mix.office.com, and it'll give you an opportunity to sign in with a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can get a free Microsoft account through Outlook, Hotmail. And once you do that, you are going to have an additional tab that's been added to PowerPoint called Mix. It's going to give you different tools that are available. So I'm going to show you some finished product from my Mix sites. Because unlike PowerPoint, these don't live on my computer. These live in the cloud, which enables me to share these out to anyone that has access. So I can click on my mixes. And I'm going to be able to pull up a list of all of my Office mixes that I've created. So I made one for the conference. Mix it up with Office Mix. And I could have shared this link with you, with my students, with my parents. And so it's all social media too? Yes. Excellent. So the very first way we started using Office Mix was through professional development. Um, I train teachers. I teach a lot of classes. So anytime I introduce new material, I want to review old material, introduce a concept, I'll create an Office Mix. So this is an example of um, a review Office Mix that we created. This is show what you know. This was after an Office 2013 class. Nope. So I'm going to have a little bit of recording with me in it, telling them what this is about. We then go on and give them a little video that we've inserted into the, con- into the Office Mix or into the PowerPoint. Um, and then I can give them some quizzes and some questions that I'm going to receive analytics back from. So it allows me to get instant feedback from my teachers. Here's an example from my little app. Nice. Um, just a second way that I can use it is and i noticed that you're using it all with your finger too so this is very very good for touch devices touch devices you can use this on surface tablets ipads iphones any device that can access the internet Mm -hmm. you're going to be able to access your office mix nice um this is just another example after before i introduce a concept I'll sometimes create an office mix. I'll tell them a little bit about what we're going to be learning. I'll uh, have maybe a video embedded into it, and then I'll have an app that I insert some questions. So before I even teach the class, I have a little bit of an idea of what my teachers are looking for. So let me ask you about getting started here. If I'm a teacher and I'm just getting into this whole ecosystem here, what is the learning curve? What do I need to know? How easy is this? Well, what's great about it is um, the learning curve is very small because it's built off of something that teachers are familiar with, PowerPoint. So once I've installed my Mix plugin, I have an extra tab on my ribbon. And so let's just say I want to record Um, a little introduction to this. I'm just going to click on slide recording and it's going to open up a new screen. It's going to give me an option to record either audio or video or both. Um, So right now you can see I have the audio. I'm going to drop down the camera and there we go. So I can see that I'm here. I want to record a little welcome. I hope everybody's enjoying ISTE and I hope you enjoy learning about Office Mix. 
I can stop this. It's just going to drop my video immediately in. Um, I can proceed to my next slide. If I like what I see, I can close it. I also have inking tools that allow me to record and annotate. Um, so I can go to the next slide. And maybe I'm teaching a math concept. I can just choose my ink. I can drop my camera because I don't always want to have my head talking to people as they go along. Um, and then I can begin to record and whatever I um, ink, let's see if we can get it to pick up. Whatever I ink is usually going to show up. So I'm going to close this and then I would go right back into PowerPoint. And I noticed that the presentation here, because it's PowerPoint, is very, very beautiful. Yes, it's very beautiful. It's familiar. It's comfortable for teachers. Um, in addition to being able to record yourself speaking mm -hmm. or narrating all of your slides, you can also insert quizzes oh. and video apps. So I can just click on my video apps. I'm going to go into the store because I have not been into this uh, computer before. There we go. Um, it's going to show all of the different apps that are available for me. So I have quizzes and polls, free response, multiple choice, true false quizzes. Uh, and I also have some videos and apps, CK12 science resources, math resources, some Khan Academy uh, information that's built in there. And any of these I would want to add, I would just click add, trust it. It's going to drop it in. And if I'm a teacher, I'm going to add my question, my responses so that when my student or my teachers or my parents view this, then I'm going to see their responses. Well, it certainly does seem easy to start this, to create amazing lessons. And these are, of course, interactive. Students are going to have a good time using this. Yes. Tell us a little bit about where we can find Office Mix. You can find Office Mix. You're going to go to mix.office.com. See if we can get back into the program. Mix.office.com. It gives you the option to um, download Mix. It'll ask you to sign in with your Microsoft login. You'll log in. It takes just maybe a minute, which I just installed it on this computer. Um, and then once that's done from PowerPoint, after you complete your mix, then you upload your mix to the mix website. So I can access this anywhere I can get on the internet. And then I always have access to my mixes. This seems really, really cool. I hope every teacher has a chance to check out Office Mix. Sandy, I want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We will be back for more TeacherCast Live at ISTE 2015 from the Microsoft booth. Amal means uh, in English uh, the hope, and uh, in our school we try to give the hope for uh, every deaf student. We find and face many uh, problems and challenges to make our students get the all courses and the information about the course. To me, I call Office Mix the magic solution. I bring a slide for a PowerPoint and then directly from my laptop I add my video with sign language translation and explanation for this content. It saves time, my efforts, and also gives me a very good chance to create and to do what I want. They hope to learn to teach, to use technology. They are more effective with us with this uh, new technology and these programs. This is school for deaf people. We do not depend on uh, hearing, only on sight. From the first day I come here, I'm starting with the, the technology, Microsoft uh, Mix and uh, Movie Maker. I found it very easy, more easier than I expected. The movie maker maybe at the beginning took about uh, 45 minutes to prepare one. Now not more than 15 minutes. It's, it's very easy. Everything they want to see, everything they want to read. Yani it's not easy to give information without hearing. It's very difficult. So this office mix and movie maker make it very easy for me. Everything they can see, you know? They need to see videos, pictures. Technology help us to give these pictures and these videos make uh, the learning more effective. Very good from uh, Microsoft uh, to add this uh, technology for, for us.